Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? We have t power t equals t power 2. We are solving for all values of t that satisfy this equation. Now, we are going to make use of two different methods in order to solve this. Let's start with making use of natural log. I have ln of t power t. And this equals ln of t power 2. Now, if you have ln of a power b, this equals b times ln of a. So the t here will come behind the ln. That means we are going to have t times ln t equals the 2 here will come behind the ln. So we have 2 times ln t. So right now, t times ln t, this is t ln t, and this equals 2 times ln t, this is 2 ln t. So right now, the next step will be, I move this over here. I have t ln t minus 2 ln t equals 0. So right now, there's ln t here and there's ln t here. I can factor that out. If I divide t times ln t by ln t, I have t minus. If I divide this by ln t, I have 2 and this equals 0. So right now, I can equate each of these to 0. I have the first one, ln t equals 0, or I have this one here, t minus 2 equals 0. Right now, if ln t equals 0, we need to solve for t. If t minus 2 equals 0, we need to solve for t. Let's start with this one here. F t minus 2 equals 0. So in order to solve for t, I move this negative 2 over here. It will change to positive 2. So my t equals 2. This is my t1. Now, to solve for the other value of t, I need to consider this. ln t equals 0. So I have ln t equals 0. I need to solve for t. So for me to solve for t, I need to eliminate this ln. I have e power ln t equals e power 0. By introducing e, I can eliminate the ln. So right here, e eliminate ln. I have t equals e power 0. And from here, I have t equals any number raised to the power of 0 is 1. That is 1. Remember, any number aside 0 raised to the power of 0 is 1. So a power 0 is 1. To the power 0 is 1. Now, the next step I'm going to do is to consider the second method. Let's consider the second method. So we are going to recopy the problem. I have t power t equals t power 2. Now, in this second method, I can divide each part of this equation by t power 2. I have this divided by t power 2. And this is divided by t power 2. So, t cancels t. I have t power t divided by t power 2 equals 1. So right now, let's consider this identity. If you have a power n divided by a power m, this equals a power n minus m. So we have t here, we have 2 here. So what I'm going to have will be t power t minus 2. And this equals 1. 
So at this particular point, I can make use of natural log. I have ln of t to the power of t minus 2. And this equals ln 1. Now remember, if you have ln a power b, this equals b times ln a. So the t minus 2 here will come behind this. So I'm going to have t minus 2 times ln t. And this equals ln1. On ln1, we have it here. Now, you need to know that ln1 is 0. So you have t minus 2 times ln t equals 0. So at this particular point, I equate each of these to 0. I have t minus 2 equals 0, or I have this, which is ln t equals 0. So right now, if t minus 2 equals 0, if you solve it, t minus 2 equals 0, that means we have t equals 2. This is still our t1, so let's solve this other one here. We have ln t equals 0. Right now, I'm going to solve for t by making use of e. f e power ln t equals e power 0. So right now, the e eliminate the ln. So I have t equals e power 0. And any number raised to the power of 0 is 1. So I have t equals 1. So we still have two solutions using this second method. And the two solutions are t equals 2 and t equals 1. So these are the two solutions. And the next thing will be for us to check for each of these solutions. So you can decide to check. I have to check. Now the question is t power t equals t power 2. So let's check when t equals 2. If t equals 2, this is very simple. You have 2 power 2 equals 2 power 2. So from here, 2 power 2, this is 4. And this equals, this is 4. So that is correct. Now let's also check when t equals 1. We have t power t equals t power 2. So you have t equals 1. So I'm going to check. So I have 1 power 1 equals 1 power 2. So from here, 1 power 1 is 1, and this equals 1 power 2 is 1. Left hand side equals right hand side. So the two solutions have satisfied the equation, ladies and gentlemen. So that is it. Thank you and goodbye.